Oh my god. Oh my, okay. I think it's time to go. Oh, that's definitely time to go now. I'm going to show you my favorite loot run in the game. This run is where I almost always find my Salewas, GPUs, flash drives, Iskras, large and small Tashankas, spark plugs, tank batteries, generally all the hideout upgrade loot that I need and various tech and household items that you need for various quests. It's just a great run for all of the early quests and hideout items you need. This is also a great run for finding really good found and raid ammos that are especially recently harder to get. They may have been flea limited or limited from traders. And as far as I can tell, you can still find them on these runs pretty regularly so just pay attention anywhere where i say that weapons parts spawn magazines can spawn and magazines can spawn with good ammo in them so those are worth checking it's also just a straight up ruble making run if that's all you're looking for you can run this as a scav or a pmc and either way the loot is often uncontested as a scav i find the extracts to be much easier as a pmc i generally run large rigs and no backpack early wipe and take the sewer manhole extract however i'll be showing you multiple runs as a scav in this video because i find the extracts are easier and i still regularly find great loot it's so often uncontested the run will take us through the above ground on reserve. I recommend running at night for the best loot. It's way less contested then, and it's very easy to see at night on reserve in my opinion. However, if night runs aren't for you, the day works as well, and that's what I'll be showing here, uh, just so that it's easy for you to follow along and for you to see what the route looks like, even when it's a little bit more contested. Lastly, the biggest reason this works is because most PMCs nowadays rush the underground on reserve into the bunker, so most of the above ground becomes sort of like scav territory. So if you run it really quickly as a PMC and take sewer manhole then you generally get all the loot before the scavs come in and if you run as a scav you generally spawn in after the pmcs have already gone downstairs so either way you tend to get really uncontested runs it just depends on if you're going to run it really quick and then get out with no backpack or if you're going to go in as a scav and pick up the scraps which again like i said earlier are not really scraps <laughs> the loot is like really really good let's check it out two minutes you may see pmcs um here you go, you can get a spawn right there, and then, oops, that's not the way I meant to go. We'll go back this way. All right, editor's note, in the video I picked up a tube here, and I ran straight through here, and I totally forgot to mention this stuffel bag inside this thing. Um, so that little tube is nice to get. We can check this little box here. A hose, which is really expensive right now, and there's actually a fuel. So I'm going to try to find a way to grab that. Uh, we can get rid of the tape. We can get rid of a bandage. I'm going to get rid of the green gunpowder. you got to make some decisions when they don't give you the most uh, stuff on your loot. But anyway, or on your scav run. There's a measuring tape if you need it for hideout. You can get spawns there. Get spawns on these shelves. Uh, and then I'm going to run through this way. Yeah, and you just want to be careful in this area. This actually sells for a decent amount on the flea, that little cup. There's a site there, so there's like weapons parts here. Here's a technical supply crate where you can get some things that you need. There's an ammo spawn there. I'm actually going to see what that is. Um, we don't care about that. I'll pick the grizzly back up. And there's a weapons crate here that a lot of people miss. Okay, that's decent ammo, I'll take it for now. Now we can run through here, there's a jacket here you can hit from inside the train if you'd like to be safer. And then I'm gonna wrap around this way, wrap through here and hit this weapons crate back here. There, and now I'm gonna make sure I have good stam. That's Black Knight, that's White Knight. I like to hit both these buildings, so I'm going to go hit them now. Let me check my extracts as we go. We have checkpoint fence and hole in the wall, two great extracts for this run. So uh, I'm gonna try to show you the whole thing. If you're coming from this direction, you can go in here and hit this duffel bag because a lot of people miss it. Sometimes I skip this because it can be unsafe. There's ammo spawns up there and you can get an AK there. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the garage in White Knight. And I'm going to check down here. There's a weapons crate down in this thing. You just have to duck to get to it. Uh, and adrenaline's kind of nice to get. Those, those vendor are okay. Yeah, I guess we'll do it for the ammo. Hopefully we don't need it. Um, I've gotten an Asa right there before, so always check for rare spawns there. Check in this thing, a military tube. Those are expensive right now. Um, I'll get rid of the metal parts for now. I usually check this thing. Sure, we need that at one point. I'll check over here for tool spawns. You can get a weapon repair kit there, and I think even an armor repair kit. 
They spawn pretty often, the weapon repair kit does. Uh, there's three jackets in here. I'm going to check for keys. Always recommend checking these jackets. Just be just be careful. Listen out for anything going on. Uh, another face cover. I could have dropped that ammo, actually, instead of the metal parts. Um, not great min-maxing there, but that's okay. Then I'll check this toolbox here. I hear something near me. And then we'll check these filing cabinets for flash drives and spark plugs. Hopefully I don't get killed by whoever's walking around. This might have been checked. Again, this is usually way more free at nighttime, which um, I think speaks a lot to like how much loot I have here during the day. There's somebody right here. Sounds like AI, but you never know. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the third floor. Uh, looks like a lot of this has been looted. There's a PC here you can check. I won't check all this because I want to keep it moving. Um, I mean, I assume people checked this area, but I could drop the, uh, I mean, I'll drop the ammo. Maybe they didn't hit some of this stuff though. Some people just don't even hit that PC, but I feel like this whole area has been hit because the doors are open. The AI can open doors, but generally not all of them. Um, well, there you go. That diary is actually kind of nice. It sells pretty good to Peacekeeper and you need them at some point. And uh, Dorm's 306 key. I don't need that key, but you can get keys in here, as you can tell. There's a rare loot spawn right there, right there, and then this duffel bag. Maybe the AI did open all the doors. Um, <laughs> there's another Salewa. I don't really have a good way to carry this, so I'm just going to leave it. But there you go. Two Salewas on this run, if you didn't believe me. There's a rare loot spawn right there that you can check. Um, food and stuff spawns up here, and then lots of good weapons parts generally spawn here. There's a toolbox here. There's a weapons crate here. I do think somebody came through this area and just couldn't fit everything. Maybe. A lot of these are unlooted. Just weird that the doors are open. Um, there's good, like, weapons spawn, weapons parts spawns here, and you can also get mags with good ammo in them. There's an intel spawn right there, and then in this crate here, you can get a really cool 545 AK with some meta parts on it, and generally BT ammo in it. So I always check that just in case. Kind of a nice thing to get on your scav run. You can get weapons parts here. You can get weapons parts here. Um, there's this toolbox here that I like to hit. Um, geez. I might drop the Grizzly. I have a bunch of them. Take this stuff. This vendor well. There's weapons parts up here that you can get. Um, generally pretty good ones. I try not to stay up there too long. There's weapons parts on the ground here and then a weapons crate here. And yeah, there's a bunch of weapons parts up here. And there's weapons parts right here. There's an RK1. Take that. Uh, there's a bunch of weapons parts here. I mean, this is like weapons part. They spawn on this table too. Weapons parts heaven. You can drop down here. Um, people, whoops, people can also get up here on this car. And there's like a toolbox down there that you can hit if you want. Um, there's a grenade box here. Really good place to get impacts. There you go. Uh, I'll drop my meds and just remember that it's there. This fuse trades for a VOG-17 too, if you wanted to pick it up. It's a weapons crate here. Um, you can get tools here. There's some elite pliers. Uh, I'm going to drop the RK-1 for the elite pliers. And you can get tools there. And you can get tools on there. And then there's filing cabinets here to hit. There were nuts in there if you wanted them. Bunkhouse quest key. I should probably go back and get those nuts on huh? salt, which might still be selling like crazy for the hideout. I'm going to pick it up just in case. Um, so you can get salt in the filing cabinets. And um, supply department director's office key. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've never seen that key before. I guess I'll take it. And that's another, uh, that's the Concordia key. I definitely want that. I'm going to get rid of the nuts for now. All right, well, we're not going to take the nuts anymore anyway. Um, so as you can see, these filing cabinets can be great for keys and stuff. Uh, then I'm going to run in here and check this weapons crate. In there for me. There's a food spawn there. There's a bunch of weapons spawns here. And you can also get mags with ammo. I meant weapons parts spawns. 
I'm going to take this and unload the AP ammo in it. If it's a decent amount, I'm definitely taking it. I'll take that over the tubes. The tubes are nice, they're expensive, but um, AP ammo I can't get right now. Then you're just gonna go up to this window. It's the first one here that you can get through and just jump and crouch and land on those tires. Uh, we already checked that, so I'm gonna run through here and um, come right out this side door into this garage. I hit this weapons box here. Completely full. Jeez, P90 mags. There's gonna be a gun here. Let's see here. Not really that great, but run it, I suppose. There's a duffel bag in here. This is like one of those runs where you wish you had a bigger backpack. Those vendor for 15k to therapist, the condensed milk if you wanted to pick it up. So weapons crate here. Okay, and that would be a big decision point for you. You can run straight over here, check those spawns for like ammo and stuff, and then run over to checkpoint fence and leave because we have checkpoint fence. Or you can run all the way to hole in the wall and do the rest of the run. Uh, let's run in here just to show you this. Somebody's been through here for sure. They shut a bunch of doors. Kind of weird that people changed doors but didn't loot a bunch. There's some jackets in here you can hit. Uh, G-Phone is nice. Uh, kind of nice, but I'm not going to take it. Okay, and then there's a toolbox down here. You can check here for ammo. There's a grenade box you can check. Okay. Nothing great there. You can get ammo right here too. And this is the room we were just in, I'll show you. With the jackets and the duffel bag. So if you didn't even run over and check the other stuff, you could have run straight through here. Um, if you don't have a, if you want to drop your backpack and you, you can uh, take this right here. I have it right now, actually, but some, usually you do. Um, that's the no backpack extract. You just run up behind that truck there. There's some duff, or um, filing cabinets in here that we can hit. Feeling like I don't want to hang around for too long, but I'll check these real quick. Cigarettes if you need them for your quest. Dorms 306. Uh, spark plug, which I still need for my quest. Uh, we're going to drop the ammo. It's only 11 rounds. I want it, but not that much. Screws. Dorms 214, which is a big quest key, but I already have it. So you'd want to pick up Dorms 214 most likely if you don't already have it. And now we leave. So you just run back to this corner. Anywhere back in this corner is fine. Stay tuned. We're going to do a quick review of the loot that we just got and then go on to the second part of the run. Some of the items that we even talked about getting ahead of time, like stuff for your hideout, spark plug for your quest. We had no FZ for the quest. We got two new keys. That's good money. Um, Salewa for quest progression. We had a grizzly in there. We found fuel. We found an impact nade, military tube, salt, which a lot of people are still waiting on, and an elix, was, which is a hideout item, and we dropped a bunch of other really good items. And this was during a daytime run. It's generally even better at night. In this run, we spawned behind the armored train. I'm going to show you the beginning of it, and then I'm going to skip ahead and kind of speed through the part where we looted White Knight, because we just looted that in the first section. Although I wanted to point out that I found two gas analyzers there, which is great. Then we're going to pick up the run right about where we left off the last one, and I'm going to go through Black Knight show you the med buildings on the other side of the above ground that I like to loot. I think it's also worth noting right now that these were just the first two daytime scav runs that I ran on reserve. I've had significantly better runs. I've had some worse runs. These are just the first two that I ran just to show you the route. I think that honestly they were pretty good for being daytime and just the first two ones that I ran. Once I get back here I'll show you I'll turn around. I spawned here looking that way and turned around. That's the armored train location. Um, you can wrap around the backside or loot through there and up there. I personally like to come this way. I feel like it's a little safer. There's a chance I die daytime. Um, it's a little safer at nighttime, and I really recommend running at nighttime. But um, this is basically the route I would take, and I just wanted you to be able to see it. So next to this crate with a dead body, there's a rare loot spawn there, one here. You can get rare loot right here near this blood. You can get food item there, and then this is a food crate. So if you need Iskras or large Tashankas or cigarettes for your quest, it's a good place to get them. Next here. 
As you can see there, I found a gas analyzer. I also found some other really good stuff like quest keys and things like that throughout Searching White Knight, but I'm going to skip ahead to the part where we run through Black Knight because we've already run through White Knight in this guide, but just know that it's a pretty consistently good area to hit. Also, if you're finding this guide helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It'll help other people see it. Really appreciate it. If you have questions about this run, feel free to ask me live on Twitch. Links in the description. Um, the next thing I would do actually really quickly, I'll just show you. Again, this is a little safer at night, but I would check this table for ammo and weapons parts. I would jump over this and go into this crate right here. Um, so if your loot was really good, you wouldn't come out here. You would just go straight to the extract, but I want to show you the whole route. So again, I ran out here. You could just run straight back that way, go to extract and get out. If you had good loot, you could loot some stuff in here on the way. Um, or you can come out here and hit this thing. Like dead body here you can loot. Um, so I like to also hit Black Knight. Ooh, that's really good to have. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Although I'm probably going to keep whatever it is. Pab 9. Um, okay, so now I like to go into the bottom of Black Knight here. And I like to hit this toolbox. Uh, Pab 9 is yeah, it's pretty good ammo given the um, changes recently. These shelves and on the floor here can have like elite pliers and stuff. You can get tool spawns there. I like to hit this toolkit. Uh, so this has been looted in here. I like to hit this jacket. Might skip some of this stuff for the sake of time. Ten minutes left. Yeah, I'll skip a couple things. Um, so I check on here for tool spawns. There's a, two jackets here and a duffel bag to hit, which I would recommend hitting if it doesn't seem looted. There's a jacket here, four filing cabinets, and then, oh, there's a relay right there. So under this book and under this book, and then right over there, there's tech spawns. But always run up and check these books for a white dot. Because you can actually like get like GPUs and stuff like inside that book. So this is the bottom of Black Knight that I'm in. Then I would typically run up here, run over here, and check the tool spawns here. There we go. There's some pliers. Probably drop my ammo at this point. I'm hoping not to fight. These vendor to therapist. Some ammo in there that you can get. There's generally good parts, weapons parts. There's a suppressor there. Mag, but it looks like PS ammo. Could be BS, I guess. It could be could be worth checking but I'm not going to that's a that's a three a one by three slot um, but you could pick that mag up and check the ammo uh, in here there's these filing cabinets and these two jackets which I would recommend hitting then you come up here and um, there's this jacket and this whole stack of filing cabinets as you can see someone's been through here but I'd recommend hitting those um, then there's one two three four PCs and filing cabinets in here so I've pulled countless GPUs out of this room, um, but somebody's looted here. The door's open. There's not a lot of time left, and I want to show you the... Oops, not done yet. So there's the PC rooms. I normally would hit this on the off chance they missed it. They didn't. And then there's a duffel bag in there that I would normally hit. Um, you can get 7.62 PS and then some 5.45 ammos up there. Oh, that's in gold, Nick. This isn't really that useful at the moment. It'd be nice to hold on to, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, there's weapons parts up here and then a weapons crate. So yeah, somebody missed this place has been seriously looted and somebody missed that um, in Golnick there. Uh, there's a weapons crate over here that I like to hit. The upstairs on reserve is uh, you can get Salewas right here and food items. So I'd always check that. I've gotten a Salewa there before. The above ground is generally pretty free. That's going to be an SKS. I'll take that. It's probably got PS ammo. Yep. Uh, if you're overweight, drop your backpack um, and then drop down. But if you're not, you're fine. You drop here and you'll take a little bit of damage. Now, here's what I would normally do. Seven minutes left. Uh, checkpoint fence is all the way back in that corner behind that thing. Uh, I'm going to loot this PC and then normally I would run straight out. But since I'm trying to show you guys the whole run... Um, so normally I would check this table for parts. I would loot that area there, maybe in there, and then run out. And that would be the whole run. But if you need meds and other things, you can also run this way. 
This building here has lots of med spawns in it, so we can run over here and check that. I wanted to record a quick note in post and just put it over a little bit of this section. Just to let you know that I ran through this on a very cursory level uh, because this medical building, I was on a scav run, it's late in the raid, and it's generally pretty popular to hit with PMCs. So I wanted to show you the building. Um, but there's a lot more loot areas that you can hit, but generally on my scav runs, especially late, I just skip it. It's better to loot as a PMC, um, but you might get a little bit of pushback from other PMCs, so just something to keep in mind. I wanted to show this building because you can find Salewas there, but actually in the recording of this between two raids, I found two Salewas in other places, and this is a building I generally skip, so again, I ran through it really quickly and didn't show every single loot spot because I knew that it had already been looted, and it's a building that you can choose to hit if you want to, but it's generally already picked clean at this point. Somebody already picked stuff up here, here. Um, just check these rooms thoroughly in here. One more editor's note. I originally ran two raids and the loot in this area was kind of decent, but uh, and I did find a Salewa in one of the buildings, but I decided to cut in a third raid at random. I only had a scav vest. It's not like the loot was like significantly better, um, but there was more time for me to run through this area because as you can see in this, there was like five minutes or so left and I found myself rushing through here and skipping loot spots. So I decided to cut in one more raid. So you're going to see a third raid instead of the the final of this one and I'll make a note to show you where I found the Salewa in this raid. Okay so here's the helicopter here there's this thing right here there's some um weapons parts up here a weapons crate I would normally lay down during this but oh, it is what it is this weapons crate can have some decent stuff in it um I generally see like pretty good weapons parts there and then you can crawl under this thing there's a couple rare loot spawns here. There's a rare loot spawn like right there. And then you can hit this dead body. Pretty sure someone's been through here, but... Okay, a small Tashanka. You might need that for your quest. And nope, maybe someone hasn't been through here. That's super rare found in raid only ammo. Um, I don't really need the matches anyway. Obviously can't fit the hand drill even if I wanted it. All right. So over here, there is... Um, sorry, med spawns here. Med spawns in here. Not there right now. Um, this is a medical cr uh, crate. Okay, alkali. Um, there's weapons parts up here. And then these are two food crates. I don't actually need any more alkali, alkali right now. I'll take that. I uh, don't need any of that. I'll take the rise for now. Um, chocolate, I guess. Salt if you needed it for your hideout. Take that stuff for now. I actually don't need that to shank. I don't know why I'm holding it. There's a jacket here if you want to be super risky and hit it. Sometimes I hit it because it's unlikely to be hit by anybody else. Or at least it's less likely than a lot of jackets to be hit. So sometimes I just take the risk and hit it. Um, check all around here. Um, you can get like intel folders and stuff in this helicopter, but I only do a cursory glance now. So it's super rare. I actually don't know if I've ever seen one. I was going to say, I need, still need the cowboy hats, but I didn't have a cowboy hat. Um, I need to start looking for those. And then this over here is a technical supply crate. These are excellent for getting things like tank batteries and stuff like that. Car batteries. A sledgehammer. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any way to take that right now. I don't need this. I'll take the tapes. Let's craft um, tubes. All right, let's go into this store and I'll show you this building. Um, so, sledgehammer in there. If you, you know, you can get them in technical supply crates. I don't need mine, but if you did still need it, uh, go right into this bottom floor here and there's a PC. There's a bunch of PCs in this building and this one, uh, it's hit or miss if, it's, if it gets hit. You can get ammo spawns and food spawns here too. Um, I find it gets skipped a lot. The weapons crate back here. Okay. Check for ammo on those shelves and down here. The jacket here. Cigarettes if you needed them. There's a grenade case and some filing cabinets. Somebody's come through here. Probably said this a hundred times, but um I'm doing daytime just to so it's easier for you to see. Uh, in daytime, you can definitely get some good loot. I mean, I have good loot so far, right? But, like, 
um, especially if you're having no backpack. It's not like the it's not the worst, but um, you can do even better at uh, at nighttime. Okay, you always check those shelves. Um, this one's gonna have a duffel bag here and weapon spawns right here. Weapons parts spawns here. Car battery. Fortunately, I don't really need a car battery anymore. Get the nuts over that though. Some shots in the distance. Another duffel bag here. Oops, I, I didn't check for whatever this is. Another just a weapons part. Uh, we'll come in here and hit this PC. Okay, PCB. I actually think I still need these for my quest. I'm going to take it just in case for a quest I haven't unlocked yet. There's a uh, filing cabinets back here, which I'm going to hit. Whoops. I don't really like that I heard shots. It's been a quiet raid so far. Uh, let's double check and make sure that I have hole in the wall. I do have hole in the wall. There goes. Filing cabinets are good for keys. Um, and just like other like good loot that tends to sell well. I'm going to go up here and wrap around here and hit this PC. Okay. Uh, duffel bag there. You can also get food and household items over here. Oh, somebody just walked in here. After the shots earlier, I don't like that. Weapons crate. Okay, more filing cabinets. Light bulb. Might need those for your hideout. Okay, then we'll go in here. There's a PC back here. Uh, meds spawn along here. There's a stem there. Uh, I'll pick that up in a second. And then household items here. Um, I want that stem, so... Honestly, the, I don't need the nuts found in raids, so I kind of like these stems. Plus, if I get in a fight, this is actually not a terrible thing to have. Uh, I don't really check this room. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything in here, really. Uh, you go down here, and there's a weapons box here. There's gonna be a gun here. That would make me feel better about dropping my extra ammo if I had a second gun to switch to. A brambit. Can I put this straight on? Oh, no, I can't. I'm going to take the water. Brambits aren't that expensive. Wait, did I come from this direction? I did. Okay, we'll go back this way. There's a grenade case, and there's some ammo spawns there. Uh, you can get ammo spawns there, too. All right, we'll come back here. And there's a med bag. Uh, weapons parts can spawn back there. And then a lot of people don't check this shelf where you can get more meds. And this one here. I um, don't really need an augmentum. Uh, wait. And now we go upstairs. Okay. Um, we'll come back to this room. I'm going to show you this stuff down here first. Let's start on the other end and work our way back because we're going to jump out that back window. Uh, okay, so weapons crate here. Alright, that's in semi-auto, so I just have to remember that. Check this weapons crate. Oops. The PC over here. This chair over here, you can get food on. That one. Um, okay. Not gonna worry about that room. Let's go into here. There's a duffel bag in the back, and then there's stuff on these shelves. There's some round pliers. That's actually a vendor for like 17k. I'm going to keep the power bank because I think it sells to Peacekeeper. I need to sell to him. Ooh, definitely need that. Okay. We'll go back here. There's like electronic spawns on there. Oh, there's another one. Just going to say, make sure you check that. Uh, we'll drop that ammo. The chocolate's not really worth that much at this point, though. I'll take the Tetris for the money. Somebody somewhat looted this building. Maybe quickly, but it's been looted. Um, and they missed a bunch of stuff, so... Please be at hose? Yes. Oh, no. Um, we're taking the hose. Rip. I need a backpack, man. Now, if you run out that window and jump down here, you can get into this drop-down room. Somebody already dropped a mask here, so 
most likely a scav came through and looted this, but we can see if they missed anything. They wouldn't have missed the PCs if they came through here. Probably wouldn't have missed the duffel bag, but I can show you on these shelves where people miss stuff sometimes. So these shelves all have like tech spawns on them, but a lot of people just run through and do this and don't look down here. Um, so either something didn't spawn or they did check there, but always worth checking generally like even this shelf, honestly. Like people just seem to miss it. Uh, but all these shelves will have tons of tech spawns. Tetrises, you get GPUs, um, your CPU fans for your quest, G phones. Uh, you can get vertexes, gas analyzers, all kinds of things. So we'll check there. All right. And now that I've showed you that building, we'll just run straight down here. We'll jump on that little red thing and then just run straight down here and go to hole in the wall. That's where we extract. Uh, if you wanted to, you could go right down there through that door. And there's some uh, food crates down there. So if you need your Iskras and Tashankas, you can go uh, down there. There's two food crates in that room. And then if you go all the way back, all the way through that first room and hang a left and go down the hall straight back, there's another room with another food crate in it. So there's three food crates down there that you can check. Um, it's a little bit risky to go down there, so I won't be doing it. But if you don't have a good run, you need food items for your quest, you could always check down there. Generally where I go on my PMC no backpack runs when I have a gun to protect myself. 